Welcome back. Marcus Limones, host of the show called The Profit, has a new series that highlights the stories of entrepreneurs and the unique businesses that define some of America's most iconic streets. It is called Street of Dreams, and we're talking with entrepreneur and host of the show, Marcus Limones, right now. Marcus, thank you so much for joining us, and we love the fact that you featured uh, New York. A little bit of New York, give us some love there with the Diamond District. Uh, yes. Talk yeah. about the concept of this show. you got four other uh, states and cities that you're, you're mentioning with the show. For the, you know, for the last eight years, we've been traveling the country featuring small businesses on the profit. And what we realized, uh, Mark Hoffman, who's the chairman of CNBC, and I sort of talked about this idea that Americans really need to see more than just one business. They need to see an industry or a street. And ironically enough, the Diamond District in New York City is one of those things that you always want to pull the curtain back and understand what happens there. But more importantly, meet the people that make it up. These are real entrepreneurs trying to make a living in what is perceived as a cutthroat business. Marcus, a lot of the people who work in the diamond industry, the diamond district in general, are not very open to having cameras come inside. How were you able to gain that kind of access? Look, I think the fact that we made the profit successfully for so many years helped, and we were very forthright with all the owners to tell them this is not a takedown piece. This is really me as a consumer trying to understand how other consumers can buy their product. And when you look at the studies of how millennials aren't buying diamonds anymore, quite frankly, they saw it as an opportunity to tell their story. We never wanted to embarrass anybody, but we definitely did want to understand how in the heck, like, I don't even, I, I couldn't understand how a diamond was even priced. I don't know if you guys know. Marcus, and we do have a clip from the series. Let's take a look quickly right now. Great. Honestly, how much does this weigh? Just over two pounds. Um, you want to try on one more? Oh, no, good. <laughs> All right, so walk me through what you do. I create artwork. Is that what you call this? Yeah. How much is that necklace? $150,000. People walk in and buy this kind of stuff? Yeah, all day long. Where are these people coming from? I deal mostly with athletes, uh, all types of different celebrities, influencers. They just wire you the money and move on. There's terms and conditions, oh, sometimes for a shout out. You get a little you know, discount. discount and, uh, you know, social media and changed how? a lot for me. So tell me about that. <laughs> Marcus, you probably had maybe like $1.2 million around your neck there. We saw you <laughs> dripping in that ice. Yes, uh, I did. How, how much was that actually? It actually was just over a million dollars. And it was funny because when he first put it on, I felt really uncomfortable. But as I sat there, I started to get comfortable with this idea. <laughs> Uh, and then my wife, who happened to be on set, looked at me and she's like, no, no. That, need, that needs to come off. That looks <laughs> ridiculous on you. Marcus, you feature five cities on this show. I know that you were okay. filming a six. I read that you taped a lot of this pre-COVID and then you started to film an episode in Philadelphia that had to be cut short. Any idea of whether you'll continue this, whether you'll finish that episode in Philly and continue on to some other cities as well in the future post-COVID? I think the biggest issue is, right, post-COVID, yes, we're not going to do anything right now that puts anybody in harm's way. As we traveled all these cities, you know, we really wanted to start to think about other cities that aren't as big, right? We want to think about cities um, that don't necessarily get the profile. And we talked about going to places like Flint, Michigan, where the really the story needs to be told. We wanted this also to feel a little like um, an inside baseball travel log to a place you've never heard of or seen before. And there's so many places in America that people don't know about. And um, I would expect that, you know, over the next couple of years, we'll look at those cities for sure. Now, uh, Street of Dreams is not the only project that you're working on. Tell us a bit about some of the other things that are in the works for you. So right now, as we speak today, I'm working with the city of Nashville and all those business owners affected by the bombing that happened on Christmas morning and really trying to help those 40 some odd businesses figure out how they're gonna put their lives and their business back together. And then aside from that, we're working on a program uh, called Plating Change. I did it with Matthew McConaughey and Alex Rodriguez and Pharrell and Amy Schumer. We're really trying to drive revenue to local restaurants but the real premise is to feed those that are food insecure. And, you know, God's love we deliver in New York City is a big part of, of what I believe in um, and I want to continue to make sure that food insecurity is battled in America. So a lot of fires on a lot of fronts, but these are things that really need to be dealt with. And I'm disappointed that our government isn't doing more. And so as citizens, we have to take care of our own for sure. And a lot of people know you and love you from the profit. What's the future of the profit and what can we expect from that? Look, we're always going to be wanting to look to invest in uh, small businesses across the country. 
Uh, right now, it's very difficult to get into a small business to figure out where we're going. I think in the short term, you're gonna see me really focus on how to educate these small business owners on how to get PPP money and how to get to the other side. And then when it's safe for everybody, we'll look at going back into the field on the profit. How can people watch the new show? CNBC Tuesday nights, uh, tomorrow night actually at 10 p.m. And then they can also stream it on Peacock. So we're, we're really excited and appreciate everybody understanding that the Diamond District is not as scary as you think. Streets <laughs> of Dreams, not. we're really looking forward to the Diamond District episode as yeah. well as Kai Ocho, because yes. we have Bianca was in Miami for a couple of years. So oh, we yeah. love those two yeah. cities. Yeah, we have Kai Ocho in a bunch of other cities. Cool. We have uh, uh, San Diego and uh, Denver and Nashville, which is amazing. My question is, did the two of you get the Diamond District box I left on your desk this morning? No, but I did will include go a look. ring. <laughs> okay, well, you should go check. You should go check. <laughs> Got to go get iced out. Marcus Lamone is so nice to talk to you. Thanks for being with us. Take care. Bye bye. I hope it's one point two million dollars worth of chains. A girl can dream, right? <laughs>